Hi, my name is Hannah Judd and I'm the mother of 12 children. And the next thing I want to talk about that sometimes I, I don't think people pay attention to is how to keep your baby safe if you also have another baby in the house that's a little bit older. And I'm talking about toddlers. When you have one baby, it's, it's pretty easy to keep them safe. It's a lot harder to keep a baby safe when you have a one-year-old or a two-year-old or a three-year-old wandering around the house. And so you have to keep a couple of things in mind that are a little different than when you just have your first baby. And so the first thing I recommend is that you do not use a bassinet. And the reason why is because toddlers, they're so excited about their new baby brother and sister and they'll sneak into your room or you'll be you know, in the bathroom or something and in comes the toddler and they wanna see the baby. Well, what they do is they climb up on the edge of the bassinet to see the baby and the whole bassinet falls over. And so you wanna use a, a bed that's wider. Some of the play pens, some of the small play pens have a, a thing that goes on the top that kind of converts it into a bassinet, like a higher bed that you can place next to your bed. It's not as attractive as those pretty bassinets, but it's a lot safer if you have toddlers. I guarantee you, your toddler will stand on the edge of that bassinet and tip it over with, the, with them and the baby. And so tip number one, don't use a bassinet. Tip number two is whenever your baby's taking a nap, put them in a room and lock the door. And the reason why is because if the toddler wakes up from their nap and they come out, they're excited about the new baby and they want to help out and they want to see the baby, but they don't understand that they don't completely understand what will hurt the baby and they're trying to be helpful, but they can end up putting pillows on top of it. All They see the mom and dad covering the baby up and wrapping the baby up and so they wanna do the same thing. And so what uh, typically what a two-year-old will do when if, if you watch them and, and you know, they don't, uh, when they come and they see a baby crying is they'll go get a blanket and they'll put it over the baby and and going, oh, I'm helping out. I'm like mom and dad helping out. And they don't understand that, oh, wait, the baby has to breathe. And so they'll keep stacking things on top of the new baby. And so uh, they can accidentally smother the baby. And they're trying to be helpful, but it's dangerous. So, so it's a, a little scarier when you have a new baby and you have a toddler at the same time. So one one thing that helps is to always put the baby in the room and lock the door. So that way you know that they're where you left them when, when, you, when you put them down for their, their nap. Uh, the next thing is when you do have a toddler it, that's helpful is to have them hold the baby like in the living room and they say, okay, all right, where's the baby's nose? Where's the baby's mouth? Okay, you have to see their mouth and nose. Otherwise, they can't breathe. And and you just, every time they hold them, you, you go through this dialogue with them. And so they're thinking about, oh yeah, I gotta see the nose and mouth. Oh, don't cover that up. And so you go through that dialogue with your toddler and that helps a lot. And the other thing that helps is when you're done, I want you, where are you gonna put the baby? That's right, you're gonna put the baby on the floor on this blanket. Always put the baby on the floor, on the blanket when you're done. And uh, the reason I say that is because a lot of times when young kids, even older than toddlers, are done holding a baby, you know, they'll be holding a baby and all of a sudden they'll go, oh, I want to do something else. And if you're in the other room or, or you, know, do, you know, distracted in any way, what they'll often do is they'll leave the baby on the couch or, or something like that in an unsafe place. Uh, the floor is not ideal you know, but on a blanket on the floor is not ideal, but it's safe. They're not going to smother. They're not going to fall off the floor. And it's a lot safer. Like for example, if you leave the baby on the couch, it can roll off the couch and get hurt, or it can, and can roll into the pillows on the back and get smothered. You want to tell your toddler to put the baby on the floor when they're done. So the ba that you know that the baby's in a safe spot. The other thing is like, sometimes they'll try to sit them up in chairs or things like that, thinking they can sit up and they can't. So you say, put the baby on the floor when you're done. When you're done, you don't let go of the baby unless he's on the floor. 
you try to supervise them all the time, but the, the point of this is if for some reason your toddler is not where you think they are and they're holding the baby and trying to help out with the baby, you want the baby to be as safe as possible in that scenario. So that's why I do it. It's just in the, in the event that, that that happens, not that I want that to happen, but in the event that it happens, there's a chance that the baby will be safe and okay, that maybe your toddler will remember what you told them. So those are my three tips for dealing with toddlers.